In the previous video, I just created two model. One is category, one is story. So go to categories and so this is the category Oscar Wilde. Okay. So just copy it and the slack field is Oscar underscore Wilde. Okay. So back. Now go to add category. Type the name, same name and type the same slack field. So just type it and save. It will not save because the category slag will exist okay so if you change this then it will save because go to models.py and here here is a parameter unique equal true for the slag field if you add unique equal to true for the name field then it will also work for this okay so i just leave it now so in this video i will create uh, views functions and the templates for the story list and the category wise story list so now go to views.py so in views.py at first import the model so from from dot models import story and category okay so now create the function so define story list a s t o r y story underscore list l i s t list and pass the request argument r e q u e s t request and the category slag category underscore s l u g equal none at first the category slag is none okay so the slag field i have already created in category so now at first create a variable category category and category equal none at first okay so now grab the all categories so create a variable categories and grab the all categories so category dot objects dot all now grab the all stories so create so create a variable story s t o r y story equal story dot objects dot all okay now if category slack is exist means user click a category so if category slack exist category underscore slack okay so then category equal so at first the category is none value when the category is selected then category equal get object or 404 so at first you have to import the get object or 404 so get object or 404 so this is not list this is object okay so now here type get object or 404 and the model category and slag equal to category slag okay so slag is a field in category and category slag is this when any user click on the category then the story variable will change it means we have to filter the story now type a s t o r y story equal story dot filter and filter by category so category equal category okay category is the field in story and this category user will select so now render it to the story list dot html so return return render and at first type request now type the path for the template so type str story slash str story list dot html okay i will create it and the django variables are category categories and story so pass the django variable so at first pass the categories so just copy it and paste here and just type categories now pass the next django variable the next django variable is story and pass the next django variable the next django variable is category 
so this category is means the all category and this category means when user selected any particular category and this story at first this story is the all stories and then if user selected any category then the story variable will change and story filter by the category okay so now save it and go to the apps and create a folder name templates okay so now create a folder name story inside the templates okay i just create a base.html in the templates so just type base.html i will extend it in story list.html so just at first create base.html inside the templates not in story so now go to bootstrap so open your browser so go to browser and copy the starter template and paste in base.html okay so give a title name storybook okay now i need a nav bar so go to components and go to nav bar and select a nav bar so i select this paste here okay so just change the name storybook then here create a django block for the body so just type block body and then type end block i will extend this in story list.html okay so now go to title here also do same block for the title so type block title and then end block so now go to views.py so here just remove comma so save it and go to story here create story list dot html so here type extends and extend the base dot html okay so now type block body and then end the block and here also type the block for the title so block title and end the block okay so now go to views.py so here our django variable is categories and then is story and then is category so go to story list.html so at first grab the all categories so here type so here type a class jumbotron so deep cls class okay so now i want to grab the all categories so type h3 and type categories now type a unordered list ul okay at first i want to add a all options so a l l all and type a anchor tag when any user click on all then all story will be visible i will create url later so hyper reference hashtag at first now grab the all categories so create a for loop so percent percent for x in categories so here is the django variable categories so just copy it and paste here okay so now in the for loop so go to models.py and here in the category model name is a field so i want to grab the name of category so type a li tag and type x dot name okay so type a anchor tag when any user click on the name of category then the all story belongs to this category will be visible at first hyper reference is hashtag 
we will create the url later next type a div tag next i want to do when any user select the category then particular category name will be visible create a if block so if category means this okay so if category exists then category dot name will visible so category dot name okay otherwise else so percent percent else else all story will be visible so type all story and end the if tag now now i want to grab the all stories so create a for loop for x in story okay story is a django variable you can see it so for x in story type a h2 tag and and type x dot name means story name and type add the paragraph tag and then type story dot description description is the field so go to models dot py here description is the field so d e s it is so go to story list and here type x dot d e s you can add here truncate words filter now go to models dot py and and create here a get absolute url method for the category when any user select the category so the stories belongs to this category will be visible so just create a get absolute url method it will take self argument and return reverse so at first you have to import the reverse from django.url now return reverse and then type story story is the app name and then type and then type story category story category is the name of url i will create later okay so then pass the argument self dot slag so now type args args and pass the argument self dot slag so i just pass the slag field in the url so i type here self dot slag so now save it now go to story list dot html and type here x dot get absolute url when any user click the category then the all stories belong to this category will be visible and here when the user click the all then the all stories will be visible so here add a url so the url is story list okay and type the name of the app is t o r y story so type the url story colon story underscore list okay so now create the url so go to urls.py in the project folder here at first include a path for the story app okay so just create a path path and remove it this is for the landing page and include story dot urls story is the name of applications and urls i will create in story folder so here at first import the include now go to story and create a urls dot py okay so at first import the views so from dot import views now remove it the landing page the landing page for the story list okay so views dot story list and name of the url is story list so go to story list dot html and here the name of the url is story list just copy it and go to urls.py and paste here okay now create a path for category wise story list so path 
and type slag and slag is category slag slag is the field in category model okay and then type the name of function the function name is story list and the name of the url is story category so go to models.py here is the get absolute url method and here is the story category this is the name of the url just copy it and go to urls.py and paste here okay now save it and go to views.py here in story list function i use the category slack for the particular category when user click the category so go to urls.py so that's why i here type slack category slack for the particular path of category okay so now save it and go to storylist.html so now save it and run the server python manage.py run server now go to browser so type the local host so story is not registered a name space so go to urls.py and here type app underscore name is story story is your application name so now save it and again run the server okay so here you can see the category and the story so here you can add a container class so go to storylist.html and add a container class so div cla class container so now in the div tag add the end and here check the spelling jumbotron now save it go to browser okay so this looks like better and here is the all story you can see it so if you click on the category so you can see the error the story has no attribute filter so go to views.py here story equal to this story model so remove it and type this story variable so i had a mistake please check it story now save it and run the server okay so now click on the categories raskin bond okay you can see the raskin bond oscar wilde so if you click the oscar wilde the category oscar wilde will visible if you click the raskin bond then the category raskin bond will visible here is no story go to the story list dot html and just type a h3 tag so type hr here i mainly focus in the developing so just run it so you can see the category so if you click oscar wilde the oscar wilde category will be visible uh, here is no margin go to story list and give a margin here so mt margin top 3 here the maximum value is 5 so i just type 3 so refresh it you can see it okay so thanks for watching the video and see you in next video